What's up, YouTube? It's Boy King. Say something. I'm back before we do it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you always watch the full video. So my previous video, I spoke on this situation with Ari coming out and stating that there was a lot of jealousy in the house between her, Carmen, and Neek. She stated that she was getting brand deals and they were asking, how are you getting all of these brand deals and we're not? Well, I did ask Ari when she was on TikTok Live if she... You gotta understand when it comes to brand deals, when it comes to really anything in life, even, even when they come in like, you know, hit 100K, 1K, whatever, everything is just timing. She was getting brand deals because it wasn't your turn yet. It wasn't your time yet. Now look, I don't, I, I, mind you, I don't, I don't know 100% who she is. I'm just seeing these certain clips. So therefore, it's like, she probably not getting brand deals now, and both of y'all are. So therefore, everything has its timing. Everything you got to just be patient, keep grinding, your day going to come could go into further detail and explain the whole jealousy situation mm -hmm. yes i said that there's a lot of jealousy and things happening in the house in general it's bound to happen though but i can't speak on other people's perspective I can... it's bound to happen i'm sorry I'm, I'm, that's too much fun already but when it kind of groups or people know that's, or that are in the same vicinity doing the same thing, that's is going to happen. Look at many rap groups, singing groups, dance groups. It's always something. You dance better. You're a better singer. You can hit better high notes. Uh, you got more stage presence. You look cuter. You look brighter. You look this. You look this. You got this. You got that. You can do this. You can do this. It's always something. It's always something. Look at Michael Jackson and his brothers. He was a kid. He came at the end and he took over everything. Come on, man. <laughs> he was a kid and took over. It happened. Look at me. Hey, look at Beyonce uh and, and Desi Child. It was five. They didn't they didn't went to what? Three. They didn't went now it's just none. And who was the biggest who was the biggest out of all of them? Beyonce. It happened. Nothing you could do about it, bro. Nothing you could do. Speak on mine. But you ain't gonna clip that, is you? You're not gonna clip that, is you? <laughs> You're not gonna tell the man part. As many of you guys know, it's been rumored that Carmen is messing around with Big Boogie music. Now, Corey recently did an interview on a podcast where he stated that Big Boogie has actually been around his kids as well, and Carmen has been lying about it. Hell no. Nah. How is it so easy for you to move on when you so hurt? Mm. You I, I heard this. This I I, I, <laughs> I hear she's with the, with the with your Gotti new artist right now. I'm gonna say this simple, simple and quicker. Simple and quick. When it kind of breaking up, if it's the first breakup and you just easily move on, yeah, this person more likely than love you. But y'all didn't broke up multiple times. The first breakup, yes, it probably super hard, super hurtful. Super sad. Yeah, she's not gonna just move on. It's gonna take some time, like months and years, for her to move on. Second time, it get a little easier. Third time, it get a little bit easier. Fourth time, it get way get way more easier. Fifth time, oh, I don't care. <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? What they at? What a what the woes at? You feel me? Like <laughs> she outside. What the ends at? She looking for the money. You feel me? Like come on, man. Like. That's how it goes when it when it kind of break it. The first time, yes, if the person truly cares for you, truly loves you, yes, it's gonna be very, very much hard for them to move on. The fifth time, what are people at? Who's next? Who I'm crushing? Who I'm taking down? <laughs> Who I'm playing? Whatever. What's what's next? What's the next move? That's how it goes. Sad to say, but when it comes to kid part, that's that's truly wrong. Especially when if you're she's not allowing you to to see your kids. And she's like this new man around the kids. That's that's hella crazy. People in general, I wasn't gonna say ladies, but people in general. The only person, when you kind of you know your new new person, the only time that they should be around your kids is if you know for a fact this person is, for, is trying to be here for longevity. This is not nobody you just crushing. That's why you flirted with. That's why you just talking to. That's why you just you know y'all just crushing whatever. It get it got to be more than just. Something simple. It gotta be, cause kids are are gonna see this person, become cool with them, 
build a bond with them, and then, then once they dip off, that's another person who just walked out of this kid's life. And the kids, they don't, they don't, they don't deserve that. You was like with a lot of. With a few I mean, I, I, I don't want to say all that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to say all yeah, that. I know that she with a few niggas. Yeah, I mean, I been knew about it because she lied to me about it. What? So, so. Because like, because no, because I had got mad because I told her I said I had no man around my kids. Ooh. And ooh. she lied to me and said that she didn't have a nigga at the house. And I, and I, I got her phone when they right we were sitting in front of each other in, in Alabama. And I was like, I said, I said, cause you gotta show me what you got going on. Like, you know, we not gonna move forward. And you want, you want to see what I got going on, but you know, I don't know what you doing. And I, I, mean, I went to the friends' messages. You know what I'm saying? And so it was like, she left the key under the door, and she was like, he there. He, she, she said the nigga name. He, he, he here. So he's at the house. With, is, yeah. But is it, is it, is this the same house with the children? Are? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So it was like, my, 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 so my, my, my. Me and said that it was the maintenance man coming to the house at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> three, what? Like three or five o'clock in the morning, yeah. So Damn. Jessica has been in a lot of drama as of recently. First, it came out that Runic gifted her a purse and then they kissed. Then next thing you know, there's another video released of them kissing in what appears to be a... That kiss didn't look like it was... Uh, you. He was drunk and you was drunk and then... Nah, because if, if you really slow the video down and look at the whole thing, y'all hugged each other, thank for the bag, then you you st you lean back, y'all made eye contact, and then y'all then y'all went in for the kiss. Like that was a kid a kiss that was meant to happen. Only thing that wasn't meant to happen was for it to get uploaded. But come on, man, y'all y'all knew what I was doing. Club. Well, now Look. Jessica's mom, on, Mama man. Red, is coming out and speaking on her relationship with Jessica and why she's no longer around. A lot of people think that Jessica moved back home to Atlanta with me. Jessica Over left here year? Damn. July the 28th or the 29th of last year. She moved to California and did what she did. Hoorah, hoorah. Jessica has not come back to this house. Jessica comes to Atlanta, she don't call, she don't come by, she don't do none of that, okay? I am not in contact with Jessica, okay? Me as a parent, you try to control your kid. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, you try to control your kids, you try to do the best you can, you try to lead them in the right way, and some kids just don't want to listen to what you got to say, okay? Um, yeah, at the end of the day, you go, like, it's... A kid is just like, hey, a person is just like every other person. You can show a person the right way, but it's up to them. It's up to them to, to take that, you know, the way that you just show them. Sometimes, hey, you show them the way, they might take it a little bit and then, you know, drift off and go go do their own thing. Because hey, the lifestyle has to fit them. If you're leading them down a path that they're that they not feeling, that they don't want, they're not going to take it. They're not going to accept it. So if all thing you can do... Is let them learn from it. That's at the end of the day, that's only that, that you can do is let them learn. It's either they gonna learn a lesson from, them or they gonna go up, they gonna grow and do they do they real thing, and and it's gonna be you no know, majorly beneficial for them. You, you never know. Sometimes in order to, in life, in order for you to know the route that you're taking is meant for you, you gotta take some L's. In order in, in life, you're going to take some L's. That shows you. Who you are, because you, once you take these L's, you are gonna get up, you are gonna dust yourself off, you are gonna keep pushing. So therefore, when you take one, if you got, if you gotta take one again, you know what to do. Get up, dust yourself up, and try again. Do not sit there. Once you get to, once you take your first L, and you get to sit there, land there, getting comfortable, it's over. It's over. L's are are to show you, hey, you took one, keep going. You take another one, keep going. Do not stop when you when you get them L's. Turn them L's. It's a lesson. That's all. That's all that you really got to do in life. Well, not a hundred percent all you got to do, but you got to get what I'm saying. I never tried to harm Jessica in any way. I what I did was try to mother her, and give her advice that she did not want to take. Um, it's froze. Is is it the live froze? Okay. Um, you know, I I, I don't. I don't have no grudges against anybody or anything. Um, I love Jessica to death, always will. Don't have no problems with her. But Jessica um, has people in her life right now that don't know um, what happened or what they think is going on. Um, she's following, you know, a, a certain people that um, don't know the backstory. 
As a matter of fact, they don't know the story at all. Yeah, that'd be sad. That's, that's sad. This it's sound, and then the way she's talking got me got me low, low key sad. Cause boy, I can't I can't turn my back on my mama, boy. Not at all. Not even not even for a second, bro. I can't I, I can never do it. And especially for, for like Jessica, when it comes to your content, at least for me, mind you, I never watched it, but I've seen the thumbnails a thousand times. And each one, this lady was in it. Every single video, she was right there. But it's always two sides to every story, so you never know what's truly going on. Okay. Um, go see your mama, Jess. Go see your I'm mama. I'm just coming on here to let people know she's not at home. Um, you know, and, you know, when people get on social media, they believe everything they see or they believe everything that comes across social media, okay? Um, I don't post nothing on social media that I can't back up. Okay, and in order for you to be a woman, to stand your ground, or whatever you want to stand on, is your prerogative. Okay, but don't come sending messages or posting about the duo is back together. Okay, because we're not back together. Well, okay? then Jessica yeah. went on to explain her side of the story as well, and why she's no longer hanging around Mama Red. Before I start this video, I just want to let every single one of you know that this video is not to spread hate or any type of slander towards anyone's name. And that because I am an influencer, I am not obligated to get on here and tell people that I don't know my personal business and tell people about my personal life. And I know that if you guys were in my shoes, you guys would not get on the internet and come on here and tell people that you don't know from a can of paint your business. There's nice. multiple parts to a story. All of you do not know what goes on behind closed doors. None of you know my story. None of you know where I came from. None of you know nothing. Jessica left here July the 28th or the 29th of last year. She has made me look like a terrible human being. And everyone jumped. Oh, God. It looked like you got your back. You ran, you, you ran her back with her. And then now you turned your back. Let her, let her high and dry. She was, there for, she was there with you when you had. You wanted to get no, when you wanted to get no money off of YouTube. You wouldn't have no sponsors there. When you have, wouldn't have no brands if you get them now. When you had one subscriber, 20 subscribers, she was right there. At least from, from my standpoint. Mind you, I never watched the videos, but I've seen the thumbnails. The thumbnails I always seen, it was her. It's it's two channels that I know that do content while, like, you know, with their parent. It's her, and it's another girl. She does reactions with her dad. And to me, that's tight. Because, like, a parent and a child doing content together, that's, to me, that was tight. So seeing her, and I thought it was a grandma. I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was a grandma. <laughs> I thought it was a grandma, but if it's her mama, all right, it's, it's her mama. But that's still tight within itself, though. A parent doing content with their kid, that, that both ran up a bag. Like, that's tight to me. But it's always two sides of every story. Right to that. They heard it, and they quickly started hating I received death threats, hundreds of people telling me I'm worthless. Me and Mama Red started making money when I was 15 years old all the way until I was 19 because when I was 19 years old, I left her resident. From the age of 15 to the age of 19, I've never received full half payments of anything that I have worked for. Now, what I can say that Mama Red has given me $500, she's maybe given me 1000 1500 but it's always been small portions of money and i was told you gotta think about it though you gotta think about it at 15 16 you are a kid you are a kid you don't need to be walking around with two thousand dollars three thousand dollars five thousand dollars you're a kid you're a kid now mind you I hope, I don't know yet, I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna watch the rest of the video, but I hope, and she's giving you five. I'm hoping, or thinking, she's giving you, they say, they say if you're getting, they say you made 2000 She gave you five, 
you can't fire and put put the uh the, the last band in your savings. Because at the end of the day, it's it's y'all content, but people are clicking on it. One, because it, you know it's a it's a mom and daughter duo. That's you know, that's tight, it's different. But people are clicking on it for that. But the major majority part, which is why that which is the reason why you know you're eating off of YouTube the way the way that you're eating, the reason why you have a fan base because the majority of the people that was that were watching were watching for you. She was just a, a plus, but they were watching for you. So I'm hoping again, if it's two thousand dollars, we're gonna split this, we're gonna split this band, and the other band are gonna either get put up because more because you are a kid, you don't again. When I was 15, my I think my allowance was like $30 for the month. I I for short and test on $100. So she giving you five for to last a month. That's good for a 15 15 year old kid. That's good, and that's that's your hope we show you money management too, because hey, that's something that we we all need to learn too, especially as as a kid to make it last for the whole month there will be months where we've made five times that amount of money she has given me 30 percent would go to our agents she get the rest and she will only distribute maybe a thousand dollars to me now when you are under a contract and it doesn't matter if you're under a contract or not if you are working with someone granted you are my mother you are supposed to split things equally Yes, but you still got to, you are a kid. I'm not, if I made, if we made $5,000, I'm not putting 2500 in your hand. You are a kid. You are 16, 15 years old. You don't need that amount of money in your pocket. You know, say in your account, yes. In your account, yes. Your hand, no. You don't, you, you don't need that. You're going to blow right through that. You don't go buy you and your friends everything that that I want, and you do not need to be doing that. No, and, and another again, when you're he go fire, the other half is put up. So therefore, you need something. We you can you know we or you whatever can go pay for it. That's just hopefully clicking to your mind. All right, savings take half, split it. Especially when you have no bills. Hey, you probably had no bills. <laughs> She's paying everything. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that it was another income besides just that content uh, income. Because if it's strictly just your, you know, just a YouTube thing, and she don't have no other income, that's why she only giving you a certain amount. Because the rest got to go towards your bills. You gotta, you gotta eat in this house. You gotta uh, electricity, Wi-Fi, cable. If your, if the the content income was the only source of income, then that's why. But if not, she should for sure. My time you were 19, 18, here goes a card with a nice chunky amount of savings on it. That's that's how it should have went. Because I am working as hard as you are working as well. It doesn't matter if we have bills to pay. It doesn't matter if you buy me things. It doesn't matter if I'm spending incorrectly. I make the money. And if I want to go out and spend my money incorrectly, then I can do it. I appreciate Ooh. her for trying to lead me on the right path as far as money and finances but i definitely feel like it was wrong for me to never out of the five years of making content with her that i've never gotten full half the amount of money that i was earned or that i've worked for when i turned 18 um, and mind you, before your child turns 18, if you are running a business with them, or you are supposed to put money in that child's savings account or bank mm. account, yeah. and you stock that money up until they turn 18, you give yeah. them that card and say, here you go, you are legal. Yeah. When I turned 18, I had nothing. Oh. I didn't have money saved up. I didn't have anything. And even after I turned 18, even when I was 19, I was still getting small portions of money. And honestly, I feel like this isn't even about money. I am shocked. Yeah, mom was finessing. The management team, they should have been on that too. Even for the kid, uh, what's his name? Ryan, the kid. Highest paid, well, one of the highest paid, uh, paid YouTubers ever. But he's a kid. 
kid channel. All the kids watch them. If you're quite sure y'all, if y'all have kids, y'all probably know who the kid is. Ryan's World making millions, millions. I believe his parents got sued because they were trying to use his money on certain things. And they said the same thing. No. If you're going to use some of the money, it had it, the money needs to be used for content wise, him wise, you know, health wise, whatever. But after that, no, you make his money needs to be in a savings account put up. So, therefore, when he's legal, there he, he go his money. You cannot spend his money because it's not yours. It's called Ryan's World. He is Ryan, you are not Ryan. That's that's how it went for him. So therefore, it should have went the same way for, for Jess. If this is Jess, mind you, people are watching it for her. The grandma, the mom, my bad, is a, a, a plus. You're a plus. It's, you know, it's good to see you. It's you no know, commentary. I, my, I, I didn't watch the videos, but I'm just saying, like, she's a plus. The major part was her. So, therefore, you give her a small amount when she's legal now? Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy that mama red has gone to the internet stating these things i appreciate everything that mama red has done for me yes she has taken me in yes she has raised me yes she's done everything in her will to make sure i was good in a way this isn't even about money this is about Treating ways that i have been treated um i will say at times i wasn't really treated fairly but it, it, it will be times where i wanted to hang out with friends and enjoy the moment and i had to make content an excuse or a reason to hang out with a friend i always felt like i wasn't able to hang out with friend if content was not involved granted i know it's work and i know that's how we make money but at the end of the day i'm still a human being and I yeah she by the things you saying right here yeah that channel was the only source of income that was it that's why it was no savings that's why she only gave you a certain amount and that's why she that's why you, sadly you weren't able to hang out and that's not how it's supposed to go if you're a kid, you're supposed to be a kid. Parents just got to stop forcing kids to be grown. The life she was living, as it got to be about country, that's the life we live. We work and pay bills. Work and play. That's it. It's no fun time. It's no going out. It's no hanging out. It's no free time. Especially when, for the parents, whoever, you know, you got, you got a job and you got your kid, you really have no life. Especially if you don't have no no support system to you know watch your kids for for, for certain moments, or whatever you really have no life, and that's what she was living. No life. Everything is con content. Work, 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 work. No, it's a 15, 16 year old kid. She's supposed to be out having fun with her friends, going to the go to the mall, going to uh to to the movies, going out on dates. That, yeah, that, that that's sad. That's sad. I don't want a camera in my face 24 7. It was the time where mama red has told me i called her mom um i think we were in a disagreement and she has told me to not call her mom because she's not my mom and this was maybe like two years ago i never got gotten an apology for that and you know that that really hurt me because i don't have i don't really have family it'll be days where she wake up angry and she take her anger out on me and she has admitted to that and you know a person can only handle so much i'm not going to say i was the best kid in the world i'm not going to sit here and, and tell you i was an angel it was times where i had my room dirty it was times where i talked back it was times where i was defiant all t you know teenagers kids, you know through that teenage days where you think you just know everything i'm not going to sit here and say I was an angel because that was not the case but as a parent as a mother it's just certain ways you handle situations um right. granted we made videos me and mama red did not have the best bond she told me that i needed to work a nine to five job because i'm super ungrateful i need to know how to work for money so her and my used to be Asians came up with this thing where I work a nine to five. Basically, I wake up at eight every single morning and I post 
six videos a day. During this nine to five, I was not allowed to be on my phone texting. I wasn't allowed to scroll social media. And if she did call, uh, catch that, she said she was going to take my phone. I always felt like Mama Red kept me short-minded. It was a day that she stated. Nah, nah, like... One, y'all need to go to therapy because this drama should not be on the internet. Two, you gotta you gotta look at that. that that's what nothing that be wrong with these kids nowadays. They be too low key, too privileged, mind you. When we was kids. The only thing that that the, when it comes to cell phones, the only thing that we would ever do was play snake, <laughs> play snake or play Tetris. That's it. That's it. Nowadays, you can do all type of. A phone is basically a computer. You, you feel me? And it is super, super distracting. If you're focused on, on this phone for too long, you're going to miss something. You're going to not go to work, be late for work, be tired at work, not paying attention at work because you're focused on, on the phone. The phone is super, super distracting. And then you still got to, when it comes to the money part, you were a kid. You were a kid. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. A kid should not be walking around with them big amounts of money in their pocket. If you're in your account, you know how you, you know how to you know spend wise, you know how to save wise. All right. That's that that's then it's understandable because you know the parent knows you're not gonna blow through this money because you say you got three thousand dollars. They know this three thousand dollars is not even you gonna probably within a month you got three bands, you probably spent twenty two hundred dollars because you not you got money management and the rest is being saved. That that would make a parent proud. If you're blowing through that every month, no, you yes, yeah, you for sure need to go work a job. So therefore, you can see, you no, know, so you get the feeling of the struggle and working and being on somebody else's uh, schedule versus you know when you do content, you do you can almost do what you want to do. You have your own schedule, and therefore, if something happens, yes. You can you know you just go build up another channel and start all over again. But kids and people still do need to learn how to really, really, truly build yourself from the bottom back to the top. Because if something happens, she gone, YouTube is gone. What are you gonna do? You don't have no job. Most jobs they're not hiring you unless you had a job. So therefore, if you've never had a job in your life. They gonna look at this. They what? They gonna look at your, at your resume like, uh, you're not even close to being qualified for the job. <laughs> You've never worked nothing. At least now you have something on a resume. You know the feeling of going. You know being on the schedule, putting on a uniform, getting a certain amount of money, stretching it out. You know a little bit of money and stretching it out versus you having a big amount of money and you going right through. It. She was teaching. She was, like she said, she was being a mom. But the only thing I can fall her on is when you turn 19, it should have been a lot of money in that, in that savings account. But then again, in my opinion, that was the only income. Well, therefore, she was playing, she was giving you some money. She was putting some money in her pocket because she is in the videos with you. She's paying the, the I guess, our agents, and the rest of it is going to bills. Bills ain't cheap. So that's why it wasn't no money. But she should have let you know that from the jump. That um, I will always need her. Well, she will tell me that I won't survive alone. I wasn't able to move out. I wasn't able to pick my own college. I wasn't allowed to go to the gym. I wasn't allowed yeah, to be checking, at the yeah. gym more than a certain time. I just yeah. felt stuck. I felt controlled. I felt depressed. I felt like I couldn't really express myself. And honestly, it was to the point where I went days without eating. And I'm not going to say because I was scared to come out of my room, but more so because I didn't want to say the wrong things. And we argued. You can call me selfish. You can call me whatever you want. You can call me less of a human. You can call me worthless. 
because you know those are the comments that i'm seeing you could call me a liar you guys can call me anything you want in the book they go too far but god knows my heart and god knows that i always move with love i've kept quiet for a almost a year now next month will be a year and if it wasn't for her i wouldn't have had made uh this video it's just hurtful i am still young i make mistakes i am human at the end of the day i am not perfect at all i'm human i have feelings I've always been kissing ass. I've always been the type to make sure everybody else is okay before me. And I'm still like that. But now I am at the point where I need to just do what's best for me. Me and Mama Red came up together. We, we did everything together. And I felt as though, in my opinion, I was not treated the best. It's all love to Mama Red. It's all love which nothing but blessings, but don't get on the internet perceiving someone to be a bad person. Yeah, that's, she's speaking, she's speaking facts though, like, hey, me personally, if you was playing with my money, and you, especially when, if you didn't explain it from the gate, like first check, this is what's going on, this is the only income, this is what's going to happen, you didn't, you didn't break nothing down to me, yeah, I'm, I'm going to feel like you played me out of my money, so therefore I got to keep my distance. I, I said it before. I got a whole story time. I tried to fight my own boss. Work, but I, hey, Where my money at? Money is not to be played with, especially when money is very, very much needed in us in order for us to do certain things in life. So therefore, she she played you out your money. Well, she, I, I don't want to say she played you out your money, but she, she should have explained what was going on. Point, point blank period. She should have explained what was going on. Your income or our income is going to go on this. This is why it wasn't no savings. This is why I can only give you this. This is why I can only give you that. She should have broke that down to you. But if she had another income, yeah, she was, where's, where's the money at? She was putting that money in her savings account or whose savings account did it go to? <laughs> you got you to gotta explain that. So, so y'all got to get off of Jess' head and go ask your mama that. Where's all the money at? She, she was you was only giving her five to fifteen hundred, and y'all making I don't know fifteen k. Where's the where's the, where's the rest at? Where's the other money at? Where especially when you have five years of it, and then for the team for the agents for mom for the mama, y'all should have had her own separate channel. Therefore, when it comes time for Jester to branch off and, and you know move on or whatever, she can still have some type of income coming in my opinion but family drama should stay off the internet for real for they should they for sure should go to uh, therapy talk about it work it out and get, try to get over it and let it go if not keep your distance me personally i would do the same thing though i ain't i'm not gonna be a hundred percent which i hold grudges i'm quick to cut somebody off you, especially when it comes to you playing with my emotions you playing with my feelings you playing with my my money my morals, my values, I'm cutting you off. My respect, I'm cutting you off. I don't care who you are, family, friend, significant other. If I feel like you're playing with me too much, I'm going to keep my attention from you. And if you're doing too much when I'm keeping my attention from you, I'm going to show you.